Greetings to God's people on this Lenten day as we gather together for our daily devotion from St. Matthew's Church in Glendale, California. We're glad to have you with us. Today's devotion is based on these words from St. Matthew's Gospel, the 14th chapter. Herod heard the reports about Jesus, and Herod said to his servants, This is John the baptizer. He has been raised from the dead, and for this reason these powers are at work in him. Though Herod wanted to put Jesus to death, Herod feared the crowd, because they regarded Jesus as a prophet. Kathleen Norris, in her book Amazing Grace, writes, Herod symbolizes the terrible destruction that fearful people can leave in their wake if their fear is unacknowledged, if they have power but only can use it in furtive, pathetic, and futile attempts at self-preservation. Herod's fear is like a mighty wind. It cannot be seen, but its effects dominate the landscape. Barbara Melash comments, fear is a mighty wind indeed. The wreckage left by the toxic wind of fear is evident everywhere. We are afraid of the unknown, afraid of one another, afraid of poor health, afraid of death, and afraid of what the future holds for our loved ones, our congregations, and our communities. Fearing that we will not have enough, we hold tight to what we have and are reluctant to share. Fearing the claims of those who have been excluded or marginalized, we react with resentment, anger, and even violence. Tyrants themselves experience fear, knowing that force cannot compel obedience forever. So it is with Herod the king. Herod imprisons John the baptizer and has him beheaded, but then fears that John has come back from the dead. Herod fears Jesus and his message of God's kingdom too, but fear of the crowd prevents Herod from doing away with Jesus, for the time being at least. Although the threat to Jesus' life increases as we continue through Matthew's gospel, Jesus keeps moving toward Jerusalem and toward the cross. On the cross, we see the power of vulnerable love. In the resurrection, we witness wondrous love, stronger than all our fears, love stronger even than death. Let us pray. Holy God, our fears keep us from loving you and serving you and others. Drive out our fears with your perfect love. Amen.